I'm Renee Charles with the Heartland Partnership and this week, uh, actually in the next few weeks, we're going to be introducing some of the very key members of the Heartland Partnership family of companies. And one of those key members is the chairman of the Heartland Partnership Board, Sid Banwart. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Renee. Glad to be here. And your full-time position is with Caterpillar. Tell yes. us a little bit about what you do at Caterpillar. Well, Renee, I'm vice president and I have responsibility for the Human Services Division and I'm the chief HR officer for the company. Okay, and in your spare time, which is very limited, I'm sure, you are chairman of the board for the Heartland Partnership. That's right. Why did you decide that you wanted to get involved with the Heartland Partnership? Well, Renee, it's interesting that Flo and I have lived in five different cities, and economic development has been an issue in all five of those cities, so I know that this region doesn't exist in a vacuum. So we have to have an economic development uh, activity and a viable business community to help attract jobs and make the region strong. So I wanted to get involved to help make sure that we can compete and I know that we're competing because of having lived in five other cities. And do you see that this community has something extra to offer with an organization like this that brings so many economic development tools together? Um, do you see that as a benefit to the community? I sure do. In fact, uh, bringing all these groups together under a common umbrella with a common back office and a common vision and mission is something I did not see in any other city that we lived. And so I think Peoria's got an advantage. The other thing I would tell you is that we sometimes have problems breaking through the clutter and getting people to consider this region. But once they visit, or once they move here, they love being here because the region has so much to offer. So we're kind of a hidden gem that, that a lot of people don't right, know Right, right, exactly. What do you hope to see as a chairman of the board of directors for the Heartland Partnership? What is it, what's your vision for, um, for the organization and, and for the community in general? I would like to see us develop a regional brand that would address the issue I just mentioned. And that is we have to find a way to get people here and to consider Peoria and the region as a finalist whenever they're making decisions about where businesses are going to locate. And I think having a regional brand, having something that would stand out nationally is something that could help the area and the region grow. So again, it's that visibility to let people outside of this area know what it is we have to offer. Right. Do you also think that that regional brand, we need to include the inter people within this area so sure. that they promote it out? Sure, absolutely. Okay. I think word of mouth is one of the very strong things that, that comes associated with a good viable regional brand. The other thing I think we can do in terms of vision is making sure people are aware of the wonderful presence of the Hartman Partnership Foundation. Mm -hmm. The foundation is one of the keys to getting the Peoria Next building right. up on Main Street built and and that's a visible reminder right. of the power of the Hartmanship Foundation. The next major project is going to be the Cancer Research Center on the site of the University of Illinois Medical School in downtown Peoria and I think we've got another potential project in the new math and science charter high school. So there's really a lot going on in this community that comes out of this building. Right. And you're a part of that, the vision that you have. If you could tell someone, anyone who may not know what the Heartland Partnership is, why should they support it? For all of those reasons, but for you internally, why would you support it? I would tell people, we don't just work here. We live here too. And one of the reasons you need to invest your time and energy in the community is to create a viable place for people to live alongside where they work. Right, because you do spend a lot, I mean, you only spend so much time at work. Right. You spend the rest of the time in the community, and being a part of the community can really make a difference. It can. Is there anything else you want to add? I would just thank everybody for being a part of the partnership. You, uh, many of you are in new roles and new responsibilities as board members of the individual agencies uh, of which comprise the Heart and Partnership. Please keep your your commitments. Please work hard to make this work. It is a product of many hundreds of people working together to make this a great place to work and live. All right. So thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much.